One of the top priorities of the team here at Magic School is to help educators get a better understanding of how they should approach the use of AI tools for educational applications. To that end, we've set out five guidelines that we think are important for educators to follow. Those guidelines are listed below, but I'll provide you with a bit more context. Our first rule is always check for bias and inaccuracy. Please be aware that any AI system can produce incorrect or biased content. So it's incredibly important that you look for any such biases or inaccuracies when you're reviewing the outputs of your AI. The team here at Magic School has done an amazing job of writing prompts to make sure that we minimize the amount of bias or inaccurate information that our tools provide. But there's still a chance that biased or incorrect information could show up in our outputs. So please check carefully. Our second rule we like to call the 80-20 approach. We like to think about using an AI to do 80% of the work for a particular task. But that last 20% is where you put your personal stamp on the output that you get from our tools. We all know that adding personal touches to your teaching is incredibly important for the success of a lesson. Whether that means adding context that will make your lesson more relevant to your students or using a structure that your students are familiar with so that they can maintain consistency between lessons, those small touches are incredibly important and you are the best person to add those details to your lesson. Third, your judgment matters. The AI output should be viewed as a starting point for the materials you use with your students. While our tools can give incredibly detailed and comprehensive resources, you know your school and your classroom way better than we ever could. It's important to make sure that any output that you get from an AI is aligned with the school and your classroom guidance in terms of best practices. Fourth, please know the limits of the AI. For instance, our AI's knowledge stops at 2021. So if you're exploring a topic that's currently in the news or a specific event that's happened since 2021, our tools will not be able to provide you with accurate information about that event. Fifth, and most importantly, we strive to make sure that we maintain the privacy of any and all of our users on this platform. As such, please refrain from adding any personal data from your students, including names and addresses into our systems. If you accidentally add personal information to our systems, we strive to remove that information from our systems as soon as possible. Thank you for exploring these five guidelines for responsible use of AI in the education space. And we look forward to seeing you and showing you around Magic School in the next section of this course.